Hey there, Facebook friends. Welcome back to my channel. There's going to be some cars driving through. Never mind that. That will pass. I am at, hope you can read it, Pakusti Pruga, which is a <laughs> second hand store garage sale every Saturday linked to our animal shelter. And I am on a mission. First of all, Everything you buy here, all the proceeds go to the animal shelter. And secondly, I am looking for some fun textures to make sprigs for my pottery. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please hang on. I will show you with the rest of the video. Look at that. So nice. Good for our animals. So I'm going to go inside on the stroll and I'll get back to you with the result. Oh, I'm back in the studio after my very hot stroll at Pacos di Pruca. I found some bits and things and fun things to make my sprigs for my pottery. Um, for those who don't know what a sprig is, let me give you an example. This is a um, small bird bath shallow bowl or deeper plate and these things that are put on there can you see these are fishies a little shell and then and a starfish these are called sprigs technically you could probably also call them appliques here's another example of planter with little dolphins this is a sprig I'm made from a key uh, thingy <laughs> they hang on your keys and I have one more I can show you the other ones are over there I cannot show you those are not fire jet very brittle and I'm the clumsiest person you will ever meet so don't know why I got into ceramics uh, everything is, is in the greenware state it's uh, my last clay that I have so I'm very very careful with that they need to be fired first. This one is bisque fired. It's going to be a bell. And here you can see a shell and I made some coral and well you get the idea. Things with um, uh, in a specific form or with some texture to put on your pots. Now the second reason I'm going to do this, well first reason is because it's fun and it's nice to have things to decorate on your pots. Second, second reason is that's all I have. It's not even a quarter bag. <laughs> so what to do? And, and this is reclaimed. It's a mixture of my throwing clay, which is smooth, and my hand building clay, which is the same clay but with a little bit of grass. Might not be ideal for sprigs, but I think I can work around that. So I thought, let's make stamps and sprigs. These are some examples of stamps. Like this one. This one makes a cute texture in clay. This one makes a very cute texture in clay. It's, it's filled. Now, of course, you can make a sprig from a stamp. Let me go into my bag of clay and show you. What if I would take a little bit of clay, roll it, let's <laughs> keep my hands up, <laughs> and well, let's take this one, I put it on there, wiggle it, and there you go. Sort of kind of leaf shaped with some texture, and you could decorate a pot with that. Um, these are all bisque fired, which means they're still porous, so they're pretty handy to work with because the clay releases easily. Another way, which is um, like, for instance, this one I showed you, the starfish. That was made with, if I remember correctly, one of those little foam stickers from the craft shop. If I make a little pad from clay, I have that one here somewhere. Yeah. So I stuck the foam pad into the clay then fired it so now this is a mold for a sprig so technically I'm making molds for sprigs I will just let's do it this way <laughs> put it in there squish it 
squash it, whatever, <laughs> into the corners. And because it's bisqueware, it, bisque wear, it will release. I'm now getting it out. And there you have a little starfish, which you can cut out and put on your pots. So that's what I... I was looking for fun textures to push into clay to make a mold to then later make a sprig. Got it? Got it? Good. Okay. I have um, a, a small bag full of all kinds of stuff so what I'm going to use. I, I didn't even spend $10 and I have some more things that didn't even end up in the pottery that were for, for private use. Um, so, and it's, you know, helping the animal shelter is always a good thing. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. So I will adjust the camera, put it down on my desk, and I'll I'll show you what I have and how to how I make sprigs and stems from them. So see you in a bit. This was my haul uh, at the Parkus di Bruga. I first found this one. Let me see here. Cute little angel. I'm not quite sure if it will work. It's got quite some depth, but we'll see how it goes. I found this horrible thing. <laughs> it, I mean, it's plastic. It's, I mean, why would you want this? But it has a beautiful knob. <laughs> Gosh, I can't find the camera. There we go. And this could also probably make beautiful texture. Ah, uh, I don't know. Who knows what will come of this? I like the tip and I like oh, this edge too. Hold on, I have to change something so I can do this properly. That's easier. This could make a nice, I don't know, round texture, we'll see. I want to make this, I mean, I, I'm not wearing this for sure but you know if I push this into the clay I might be able to make uh, a string of beads after that is fired from clay to decorate my pots um, for those of you who are a little older do you remember these the, the elastic belts 70s 80s i mean this one doesn't even stretch anymore it's old but look at this that is gorgeous and that is going to make a beautiful sprig i can even make a double one because this is of course how the belt closes that's that's one i'm going to use here i have another belt this is pretty and these are pretty so i'm going to make molds from that this is a picture frame it's completely broken it's well horrendous right but it has a beautiful leaf texture here so I'm going to try that one I am working on a um, bee watering station and I found something in the shape of a honeycomb I mean it can't open I have no clue what it's for but I'm hoping to make uh, a mold out of that one. This one as well was lying around there. It's a little sun. It probably went on top of a pen or something. So I took that with me. I have some pieces probably from jewelry. They do not have very deep texture so I, I'm not sure whether they will work but I'm going to try. I found this glass bowl with a beautiful foot. I found another glass thing. It, 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 there's candle wax in it, so I guess somebody used it for tea lights. It has a beautiful foot. I can make a sprig from that. And um, I sometimes make uh, wind chimes and or um, mobiles. Is that what you call them? The last one I made was a hot air balloon and it had butterflies and clouds dangling from it. And I always make extra. Because by the time they're all fired and done, um, these will be hanging and I want to have more than one option. And I, So I always make more and these are now waiting for the next one. Previous one I made had fishes dangling from it. 
And I still have some fish, so I'm going to see if I can make these into molds. So, I say let's go for it. I have some um, cornstarch in here. Just ordinary cornstarch. Because probably the clay will stick to the glass and especially to these ceramic pieces. Um, I can also use plastic. Um, let's grab some clay and I will roll that out. Or maybe not even. Let's see. Where do I start? I heard today, oh no, that's not true, yesterday that my clay, uh, which I ordered, has arrived in Miami. So I am now waiting for my freight forwarder to ship it to Bonaire. So hopefully in about two or three weeks I will have clay again and I can make, start making again my bird feeders, bird baths, bowls, mugs and things like that. So stay tuned if you want to see that happening. I will make videos. Um, not too thin because they have to be a little bit sturdy for being a mold. I had already wedged this clay so hopefully I do not have any bubbles. Now this is a, as I said, it's a, a little, little, little clay with a little bit of grog. I have to wash my grid. Hold on. There we go. So I'm going to smooth the surface with one of these very excellent red ribs. And hopefully I will push the grog down enough so it won't interfere with my texture. Oh, there was something on my board which is now in my clay. We don't want that. Now I leave it thick because I want to see if I can get a nice impression from the knob on this um, very pretty thing. I can also use this as a cookie cutter. Let's see what happens if I push this into the clay. I'm going to put some cornstarch on there because it's plastic it will probably stick. Nice breeze. Oh, it's been so hot. That's nice. Let's see what happens. Ooh. It's almost a crown, isn't it? I didn't push it in all the way, just, I think, halfway. And here you can see, I now have the impression in my clay, and I will let this dry and fire this. So I can push in new clay, which I can then put on my pottery. I know. Come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, it's a bit thick. I can go a little bit thinner. But this one, well, number one is done. Now I can also, can I? I can make a stamp or I can, when this is fired, take the reverse impression and make a stamp out of that. And of course I can use this as a stamp. Let's see if I can roll this in there. Or should I? Hold on, I'm going to try something different. Let's see. I'm going to roll out a coil. A little cornstarch. I was going to roll it like that, but it's um, it's angled, so it, it's it's see it's bumpy because of the little feet, which are cute as well. I'm going to see if I can get something from that too. But I like this, 
part. So what if I press this on? I don't know if it will work because I'm going to fold it back to straight, but we'll see. Oh, it's coming off. Well, it is there, but it's not very deep. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. I'm going to try once more. This is now getting dry. Try again, push a little harder and see what we get. It is better. It got a bit stuck. Uh, now it might be a bit too thin. It's better. Actually, it's not bad at all. But now this has become a bit too thin for me to then later press clay in. It might break. So. Let's try again. One more. Try. Maybe not all the way. Make it a bit shorter so I don't have to bend it that much. That's good. Now open it up again. Here we go. I will cut this out or smooth that out so you, I don't have two kinds of textures. And then this will be a nice mold for some well, more delicate and more fine, finer um, texture. This is going to go away. And this too. I will do that in a second when it's a bit stiffer. So that one is done. I'm putting it aside. Where did I put my crown? Oh yeah. There we go. Now let's see. I want to try this one. If I can roll this out somewhat thinner. Let's see what happens if I push the end in. Oh, that's cute. Came out a little bit diamond shaped. But I like it. I'm keeping it. You can also, of course, what I did, what I showed you before, make one slab with several kinds of uh, sprigs on them. Ooh. That's a big truck. 
delivering gas. And of course, I, I didn't show you this before, you can use shells. This is the mold for the sprig on here. That one. Never mind my dogs, they are reacting to the people that are bringing gas, I guess. My neighbor ordered some. Oh, they're in. <laughs> they can't make the curve. <laughs> okay, I'll come back when the when the noise is over. Uh, a bit embarrassing. The gas was for me. <laughs> I uh, ordered gas a week ago, and the light. Last I heard, it took about three weeks for them to deliver. So I forgot about it, and they never call or email when they come. So they're lucky I'm home. <laughs> but. That was all my disturbance for my guys. I can now, you know, keep cooking for another year. So that's the good. That's the good news. Let's get back um, to the what you call it, and let's make some more sprigs. I made a flat disc. And uh, what was I going to do? I was going to do that, but that's too small. Oh, let's do the other side of this one. Do I need? No, I think I'll be good. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh yeah, I like, I like very much. Look at that. That, those are going to be beautiful buttons for on a pot. Yeah, another one. That works, and I'm going to keep this as a stamp for the well, not for the reverse, for this. If I have work that is still soft, or if I'm working with slabs, I can decorate them with this, and then later maybe use the inverted, the positive uh, uh, or the negative from this one. So you have two different kinds of textures from one item. It seems to be interruption day. Let's see what comes next. First it was gas, then it was somebody who brought me something back, which she borrowed, which is nice, of course. Uh, who knows? Okay, what was I saying? I'm going to use a little bit of plastic to push this in instead of cornstarch. Makes the edges a little bit rounder and hopefully release good. So here we go. Do I cut this off? No, you know what? When um, when I have fired all these molds for sprigs and stamps, I am probably just going to bring this back to Pakusti Pruga so they can sell it again. I'm not wearing this, ever. So, we'll see. If I can, I hope I can push it in like this. Yeah, well, sort of, kind of. Can you see? Let's try again. With cornstarch. Or maybe I do have to cut it off so I, uh, it's easier for me to reach. Because the, the, the belt thingy is in the way. Um, let's, let's see. Oh yeah, this goes in a little deeper, this way, now that way. <laughs> ah, I think I moved it. Oh, well, a little bit. I can fix that. There we go. I think I can fix that. I'm keeping this one too. Putting this aside, oh, I can cut them out. Mm -hmm. 
So this one will now be drying and fired. Let's do the other foot, this one. Now these will of course shrink. My clay shrinks at 12 to 13 percent. There we go. You can even make separate beads from this. I'm getting all sorts of ideas. That's good. Ah, I like it. Let's get this into view for you guys. I have to put that middle piece in first because it's a it's a sphere and hopefully I can then push in the rays, the sun rays. Mm, no. It's just you know, look, it's so thin, it's very difficult to push it in the clay. So that one didn't work. Um I will keep on crafting and, and making um uh, mold, molds for sprigs and maybe even a few stamps and I will show you the results later. I'm, I'm sure you by now know what I'm doing, right? Um, I'll see you uh, when I'm, I'm, I've finished the last bits of clay in a second. A whole bunch of molds for sprigs and stamps. Um, most of them you have seen. This one you saw me make. I made another one which is a little less deep. I cleaned up this one. I cleaned up the edges so I can make a strip of these. This is a stamp I have made, which of course you can use as a sprig mold, but and that comes from this part. What else? Oh yeah. This worked better than I thought it would. This is a very thin <laughs> uh, thingy. And this is what I'm what came from it. That weird little picture frame. This came from that. We'll see what happens when I use it as a mold for a sprig. This one and this one. We'll see what happens. Oh, and even. Oh no, not that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, the smaller one. And that belt buckle, that one. Um, besides this one, the big one. Sorry, <laughs> this one. I also made some stamps from parts of them. And a small one, tiny, tiny one. That little angel that didn't really work did give me... Uh, let me see. This little stamp, this texture. And this is from the bottom of this one. And this is from that part from that little angel. <laughs> and I also used this to make this little roller. What else? Ah, oh, yeah, I, I did some fishes. This is the other belt buckle. And then, oh, this is also the bottom of this one and this one for a sprig and a stamp and then my clay well it really was drying out and it's the last bit of clay as I said so I took some clay to a uh, to an old tree a dead tree here in the garden and I just pushed it into the bark for these and for this one 
and then I was out of clay. So this is it. These are going to be fired once I um, uh, and, and working with them and, and using them I'll get back to you and uh, show you what uh, what kind of effect they will have. So um, signing off from Bonaire, Nukua Pottery. Look me up on Facebook or Instagram. I'll put the links in the description and uh, for now it's uh, Oh, yeah. bye!